like there are a lot of cool ladies to respect and to I think it's almost like an advantage in a way because you're like, well, you're not doing what I'm doing because I'm a songwriter. Like, at least I'm a girl singing these songs. And I think there are a lot of women doing a lot of really interesting things. Like, there's like Marnie Stern and St. Vincent and these girls are in town and they're really awesome. I, I used to read a lot about women artists, uh, visual artists, and they'd say, like, when I look back at who my heroes were or the canon of great artists, like, the only references were men. And that's not the case for me. I mean, I, I can look at Patti Smith or Joni Mitchell or Kate Bush and say, like, that these women are fantastic and extraordinary. But then you do feel like, oh, do I have to try to, like, assimilate or, like, be more masculine in some way or do I have to be less feminine in order to be heard or understood? I honestly feel like with my bandmates, there's like, it's all sexless and with among other musicians, it's like no one's seeing sex or gender or anything like that. It's just you are who you are and you're making things. I honestly, on the business end of things, I feel like I'm treated more like a girl and that's really frustrating. And I don't, I don't know if there's really grounds to say that, but I, I feel it. And I wonder if I'll always feel it or if it's just where I'm at right now with what I'm doing or what. I think that the, the vocal delivery in this next album is like gruff and kind of intense and I do wonder like what that means for people like and, and are those qualities associated more with being like male rather than female and why is that? So there are things I think about like if I were a dude and I were growling it would just be natural but if I'm a girl and doing it then all of a sudden it's like oh this next album is a collaboration this time born out of a really strong friendship and aesthetic alliance between me and my bandmates. It's pretty different sound and it's a pretty, it's a bit of a drier sound, although we wanted to find a way to like incorporate the warmth of the last record, especially in the vocal, but the, um, the idea of it, I guess for me was like, okay, here are these songs and I write songs like within a real singer songwriter tradition. Like I, I that's, whoa, <laughs> who I look, you know, I look towards heroes and people that I think are writing even more in the folk tradition, you would say, but at some point, the idea of arranging songs like that and the way that I was hearing it, it just wasn't interesting to me anymore. And so, um, not that it wasn't interesting, but it wasn't how I felt like my songs would be best presented to the world or whatever you want to say. I just, I started, like some of my favorite bands like Deerhoof or Dirty Projectors, like they're just musically really fascinating to me. I guess that they became really big inspirations, but I wanted to be able to hold on to the idea of like writing a song and telling a story and allowing people to like hear words and hear voice and emotion within the voice. Not that those people don't have that, but there is like a stronger sort of storytelling line, I guess, in my songs. And so the new record um, kind of reflects that idea. Like it, I, I love Red, I think it's great. I do think that it like, it draws a lot of references from like the 60s or earlier times. And that was something that I just didn't feel like doing anymore. So this one has, maybe you can get that within the songwriting because they're still normal you know, pop songs or whatever you want to call them, but the arrangements are really pretty different and the sound is very different. And I think more than anything, now it opens me up to even the next record and ideas of things I could do next. Like it just, you know, you just sort of push your own, the periphery of your own boundaries and you see how much farther you can stretch. And every time you do something, hopefully you push against it a little harder. And I think that if anything, that one did that for me. Like, oh, there's this world of possibilities that I didn't see before.